Hi there, let's take a look at an important welfare concept used in lots of different parts of the course, and that is consumer surplus. So what is consumer surplus? Well, consumer surplus is a measure of the economic welfare that consumers gain from buying and consuming goods and services. The key point is that consumer surplus is the difference between the total amount that consumers are willing and able to pay for a particular product. And that, of course, is shown by the position and the elasticity of the demand curve and the total amount they actually do pay for the product reflected in the market price. Now the area of consumer surplus is always shown by the area underneath the demand curve and above the market price. So in our diagram on the right hand side here consumer surplus is shown by the area A, B, C at an output of Q1. Now clearly consumer surplus will change when there is a change in either demand or supply or demand and supply in a market. So here are two examples. Uh, the first one we see an inward shift of supply from S1 to S2 caused, for example, by an increase in supply costs. That causes the market equilibrium price to rise from A to D and the quantity consumed in equilibrium to fall from Q1 to Q2. Originally, at the low price A, consumer surplus was A, B, C, the area underneath the demand curve and above the price. Now, after the price rise, of course, demand contracts, we move up the demand curve. Consumers are paying price D, so the consumer surplus is area B, D, E, or D, B, E. That means there's been a fall in consumer surplus of area D, E, C, A. So an inward shift of supply, which increases prices, causes consumer surplus to fall. What about the effect of a change in demand? In our second diagram on the right hand side, we look at the effects of an outward shift in the demand curve from D to D2. That causes uh, the quantity consumed to rise from Q1 to Q2. We move up the supply curve. The market price rises from OA to OG. What about consumer surplus? Well, again, at the original price, Consumer surplus was the area A, B, C, because the price was A. Now, consumer surplus equals the area G, H, I. G, H, I. Significant increase in consumer surplus. An outward shift of demand does lead to an increase in price, but it also leads to an increase in consumer surplus. Now, an important area often tested by exams is the link between consumer surplus and the coefficient of price elasticity of demand. Let's take an example on the left here. I've drawn the demand curve as relatively inelastic. In other words, a low coefficient of price elasticity of demand less than one. And you see here that when we have a low price elasticity of demand, some buyers are willing to pay a very high price to continue to buy and consume the product. So consumer surplus is quite a big area. Keep in mind it's the area underneath the demand curve and above the price. Now let's contrast that in the next diagram, which shows a much more elastic demand curve, coefficient of elasticity greater than one. In other words, consumers are highly price sensitive. And you can see hopefully that the area again underneath the demand curve and above the price is much smaller. So when the elasticity of demand is very high, when you have an elastic demand curve, the area of consumer surplus tends to be relatively low. Now you're going to be using consumer surplus in different parts of your course from uh, price discrimination by businesses to the impact of indirect taxes and subsidies and, and tariffs and much more besides. But this is a brief introduction to the key ideas about consumer surplus.